Viewers, it's time for the North London Derby. What's up guys, Kerry from KJB back again with another episode of the European Tour. I hope I find you very well today. Sorry I didn't get a vid out on Thursday, I completely forgot to record one earlier in the week. But we're back, we'll get this one recorded, I'll record next Tuesday straight after, just because I've got the time now. Today is a big one. Apologies about any vehicles you hear passing the house, it's very hot so the windows are open. We're playing Arsenal, we're going to do highlights against Real Madrid and Sim in Fulham. And then we'll have a bit of a gap and probably bring you this sort of stretch, lead Salzburg, Brighton, to then bring you back there. So there's a lot going on in this episode. We're going to go with our strongest lineup. I think prioritising against Arsenal is a must in this North London derby. They've got a good side. Walter was our youngster at the very start of a career mode. The one who's potential to be special. He's very, very good. Krevachilia, he's also there. It's always a tough test, but I think the last time we played, we won 5-0. I suppose it's that time of year where we're looking forward. EF, AC, Milan, I don't know what the game's called next year. FIFA 24 is what we're just going to refer to it as, is coming out. And I do have the closed beta invite. That's what it's called. I've got the closed beta invite. I've got the career mode one. And I'm thinking about just putting a couple of teams on, having a bit of fun with it. Obviously, I can't share any of that with you guys, unfortunately. But, in terms of career mode, who should we look at next year? Great ball out to Sessegnog, just inside. One more, Graven Birch, 1-0. That was lovely. What a way to start this one in the North London derby. Dane Scarlett, very unselfish, just knocks it one back to Graven Birch. Puts it past the keeper, who doesn't even bother trying to save that. Lovely stuff, perfect start. Like I was saying though, if there's anyone in particular you want to see me do a career mode with, best thing you can do, comment it down below. I'm always open for suggestions. Obviously, I'm really tempted by the idea of doing like Leicester in the Championship. But there's also the likes of Luton who have just come up. And I think they could make an interesting career mode. Or even someone like Gilligan. Anyone you can suggest, get it down below. I will be interested nonetheless. Great ball out by Luca Romero to Scarlett, who turns past his man, goes for the heavy touch, tries to knock it back, unlucky that Arsenal defence does intercept that one. Right, Romero's going. He's got space. Javi Simmons has acres. Can't do anything with it. Sheila plays through De Costa, and he's just got round one. Vardio tries to tug at the shirt. That could have been a penalty. We're going to move on from that. That could have so easily been a penalty. Ile cuts past one. Here he goes. Here he comes back to Yunduzi. Javi Simmons. Ryan Sessegnon. Can he dink it? What is that? Oh, what a little ball roll that is by Krivitschilia. Yunduzi's not happy though. Goes in through the back of him. Come on, boys. Spence is going to dink it towards Romero. No, he's just... Apart from creating the goal, we've not really done much this off. And again, neither have Arsenal. The Costa now gets his sh fair play. What a goal! Gets his shot away, smashes it. It's a good ball through. He's got loads of space, but he's just levered it into the corner. They've only had that one chance. That's all they've needed. One one. Hopefully, that's the awakener for us. We really do need to wake up because we've been average in this one we've had that nice little goal at the start but we've done nothing since now that is lovely play graven birch has it back he's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper dinks it over hits the crossbar how can you hit the crossbar i probably didn't even need to dink it but i thought that would look a lot nicer lovely play in the build-up at least we know we've got that option Second half to come. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, we've injured Ile now. That's our whole season wrote right off if he's out as well. Right, Colwell versus Da Costa. 
How has that come through? What a tackle by Gavardio. I don't think I've seen a better tackle in this game. That is excellent. They've pressed at the right time though. It's Walter against us. Walton on the other side. That's going to get confusing. Great save by Schmidt. Javi Simmons plays it to Ile who has got a knock. That is unfortunate. I bet it's a broken toe. I'll give you any money on it being a broken toe. Back to Javi Simmons in the box. Good save. Dane Scarlett out to Ganduzi. Powers that one. Probably didn't need to power it. Arsenal are looking to break on us now. I'm not even going to try and say this bloke's name. Who starts the name with an S then a V? Walted on it. Ganduzi just humbles it out of play. But humbles aren't on for corners. So that's fine. Ile is going to have to come off. Nezovic is going to come on. Bring Ganduzi forward. And bring Onana on as a bit of steel in midfield. Walter doesn't get tackled. Onana's block goes in. They just play that across the box. That's fine. Who is it this time? Krivia Shelia. Plays it to Walter on the edge. Absolutely rapid, that man. Keep him there. Arujo is the one with the shot. That's not exactly the play you want taking that. Oh, the tempo of his game has just died down. Nezovic picks this one up. Ball through. Oh, it's too much on it. It's too much on it every single time at the minute. Good tackle by Gravenberch. He's, oh, he's been tackled himself, eh? That is not ideal. What? Ooh, thank God he's offside. I was going to say, we are really just struggling in the... Just controlling the ball department. Nezovic, make yourself a hero. He's gone near post with a finesse shot. That's never going to work. Dean Scarlett. He's, he's doing all right. Doing all right. Romero's ran away from it. You need to run into the gap. Dinks it over to Nezovic. Knocks it back. Dane Scarlett gets it punched away from him. Romero in the box. Smashes it near post. That's what we needed to see. 2-1. Huge goal in the North London derby. And he celebrates in front of the Arsenal fans. It nearly works. It was a good thing that defender stayed back. Because Romero was through. And he's played it perfectly. Just smash it over the keeper near post. Lovely chest control. Brilliant goal. Brilliant stuff. Just what we needed. I'm not saying I'm slowing the game down at this point, but we're going to try and keep hold of it because as long as they don't have the ball, and we do, they can't score. They can't hurt us. Nezovic gets tackled brilliantly by Zubamendi. Now they've got the ball, but it's all the way down here. Not worried at the minute. It just depends how quick they get this forward. Oh god, it's De Costa. Gavardio steps in. Huge, huge tackle by the now Man City man. Tried to play through Dane Scarlett. Ganduzi's just hitting it. Just keep it down there. That's the game. 2-1. A much tighter affair than the Man U won. Happier with how we defended. Can do better going forward. Go on then. What is the bet that Ile is out with a broken toe for three months. I'm willing to bet £10 to anyone who likes this video. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? He's out for three months with a broken toe because that's the only injury you ever get on this game. It's made this season so much harder. So much harder. He's such a key player and he's such a good player for us. Is this how we're going in against Real Madrid? As I say every time we play them, that front three is absolutely brilliant. But I've got faith, although we are playing on highlights. First up, we've got a free kick in a fairly dangerous position. We haven't really got a free kick taker on the team, so Gravenberch can have it. Probably curl it a bit lower down and put about three and a half bars of power on it, see what happens. He had to save it. Good header back, one more. No, blocked. I don't even think we get this ball. Oh, we do just. Nezovic. We lost it, just not exactly where I thought we did. Now they've got a solo run. Ossiman against Gavardio. Play the ball. What a... Oh my god! I'm sorry, but how is your reaction time that good to volley it that hard? I was just about to say what a block by Gavardio. No, it don't even matter. Nice, Ganduzi's ball gets in Chukwameka. 
who just runs straight into trouble. I'm, I'm not having a good attacking time at the minute, viewers. Vardio in the box, tackles Ossiman, well done. Here we have Frank on the ball, that's a very Spanish sounding name. Vinicius shoots, Schmidt saves. They are dominating at this point. Frank again gets it to Zinchenko, who's all the way forward. Come on, Majer just got him there, it's not really worked. Nezovic, between them they've got the ball back, that's good. Nice, Alfie Devine's come on. Gravenberch to Ganduzi. It's a bit of a heavy touch, but it don't matter too much. Rodrigo, ball over. Alfie Devine, puss it wide from there. Oh no. It's 3v3 and it's Ossiman in that. What a tackle. Finishes 1 0. Not an ideal start to the group stage, but it is Real Madrid. We've got to remember that. Alfie Devine's got a score there, though. That should be 1 1. To end this one, we're going to play the strongest squad against Fulham in a quick sim. And we win 2-1. Vardy on Luka with the goals. Perfect. Dominated possession, had more shots. That's what we like to see. Now, like I said, there's going to be a bit of a gap between this episode and the next. Not in terms of days you get to see it, although I wouldn't blame you for thinking that. We'll bring you the Leeds, Salzburg and Brighton game. So I'll play these four off camera. And then we'll bring you back like Leicester, Real Madrid and Chelsea. This season's going to fly by. This might well be the last season we do on this series as well. Again, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. If you have enjoyed today, please leave a like. Subscribe to see more from us. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.